零一八年国际邀请赛冠军 ，OG。Welcome to the International. I'm committing far. Do have to be a little wary of Roger having the Echo Slam available, but Somnus is ready to go in underneath the tower. Stuns out from Arme then to concentrate the shallow frame, keeping Roger alive. They'll try and get rid of a challenge. It's a five-pound Ravage! Jumps in, Echo Slams out, but he does nothing at all. The BKP's out from Arme. He'll turn over towards the heart. The stun control from X Nova isn't enough. No one finally uses it. LGD, they get both! As Chalice sees the perfect opportunity, he's not even done yet. Jumps in for another anchor smash. Keeps the pressure on VP as they're pushed back away from the tier two tower. And despite getting the Roche, getting the Aegis, they lose the following fight and they'll lose more map control. It's the little things, right? Chalice just blinking into the pit there initially. Giving vision, causing posture to kind of be like, oh my god, I need to, I actually need to split for this situation. The Allows them. They're, they're just trying to get their farm to a point where, where they can have a chance of defending their base. But their base is, their base is getting chucked out already. Losing another tier three. It's PSG LGD. They'll just continue. They're going to do the X. Quickly bring him back, getting some tower damage as well. Arrow scout. How would you start this fight for VP? They don't have the natural forms of initiation. Pasha wants to, but like we said, he hasn't built any armor energy. Now has the Vlads at least finished up, but oh, Ramsey's fairly squishy as Ramsey's. He's gonna get arrowed here as he stands. They're throwing everything. The Ramsey. Ramsey's dead. He doesn't have buyback. No one's trying to fight back here. As he pops the BKB. Ame himself also has the BKB ready. Jumps up a solo. He's got as well. Ramsey. He was AFK. That's just that might just, be the game. And he, he can't buy back. He just stood there and took FY's arrow to the face. Force up. They're going to X mark and pull him back in again. All that extra life that he gained. Where's your refresher in second time? It ain't going to happen. Or maybe they just stick on top of him. That'll be the way to bring down the Tani. Buyback comes in from the Rubik. Get a lot of money. Now they look to the Ancient Apparition. Another Torrent pulls him back in once more. Ancient Apparition to fall. Disruption. It is allowed to go to the next target. But there's your refresher. Armel, DKP, and put off the storm. They're looking for their own damage output. And the stun from ES. It stops Yang from getting the instant Ravage off. And in fact, he doesn't even have the mana for it anyway. They're just going to have to hold in Armel. Well, Yang with the BKB wants to keep on fighting, but now the volley will arrive. They have to start retreating. Vici Gaming back on the shrine. This thing's still up. They're going to regenerate up almost everything they lost. And oh, Gabby's going to try and fight into them. They've got to be careful. Ravage is still available. He can blink forward and just go for it. Bristle back. He gets clipped up. And also the stuns on the sideline. Bristle's down for 100 seconds. Ancient Apparition will also go down. But they pull back the bigger one. They pull back Cuckoo. They need to get rid of all that damage output that he had. That guy come around the back. Echo Slam is available. VG may not be looking for it. The badge is already over on Tani. They forced off him away. BKB will protect him. Now Tim's, if you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Three, together. Lock him down from heaven. The shatter arrives, but Life Sealer still gets the BKB off. He's been beaten down by Gabby with all that big damage. Cuckoo will get the jump in as well. Yang will fall. The damage is huge with the anchor smash back again, but they just chase for more. A long toss up towards space. Oh my Three, God. and she just crit the crap out of him. <laughs> Three volley. Did he just get three crits in a row? He did. Oh, it's pretty absurd. Man, what a play by Tim. Understanding the game and then he doesn't get the toss back, however. He just tosses Ori straight up in the air. A quick fissure. Now the soul bind together. Gabby is already spinning himself away. Paparazzi is killing Tim to the back line. They'll go fountain if they want to. This game's over. It really is over. VG, playing your flag. You own TNC's home. Tim's is gonna do the best he can. TNC will fight to the bitter end. But VG Gaming, now going for the Megas. 
Edict burns through all the buildings. Gabby moves forward, looking for some damage to burn off what mana. No, he's going to burn off life instead. Purged up. Now the rock will drop. They just want to control the juggernaut. He'll still get the Omni Slash off, however. But how much damage is this really doing? They're so tanky and split across the fight. That's GG. Four heroes gone. BG Gaming will advance to the semi-finals to have a date with an all LGDBG China. Semi-final one. going to be playing a little switch up for that Lash and they're going to make this core you know, off lane of Baden. Could be the case. They could still make Monet playing the Lash Rack in the safe lane too. I will say, if I'm a Storm, I'd love to be in a situation where I'm against the Lash. As they're going to take the Gyrocopter for themselves. So this is going to be Ooh. an off lane void. And that, that is, is true. something that we definitely did not expect, right? But that does fulfill one of our requirements, which is damage to dump inside that Chronosphere, right? Yeah. yeah. So the issue that I had was I actually wanted to see some sort of hero like Axe, but part of the problem is you run into a weird situation where all of a sudden you have a melee core that doesn't get enabled through the Chrono. Yep. And so it almost has to be some sort of range hero that can also dump damage in, like you said. Uh, Gyro fits that bill. And more importantly, he's a very fast tempo carry. And it's definitely throwing Royal Never Give Up for quite the loop. You can see Lanham yeah. motioning to his head. I think he, he got in there a little bit. I wonder if they could do something like... I, it's, a, it's a bit too greedy, actually. Never mind. I was going to suggest something like a Morphling, just because I see now Gyrocopter, I see Willow. You, got the you said you had a story for me. <laughs> yeah, so while we were drafting, we when it came to the last plan, and the reason that we didn't ban anything was we... The same second that I think the timer ran out, I clicked ban Gyro, and we ended up picking it instead. And I don't know if there's footage from the booth, but you could see on our faces, or mine especially, like I was, I was so surprised when the gyro icon popped up on, as our pick. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the story. It sucks to go out on a best of one this way. I feel like we played pretty well in moments, but we definitely had no idea what the hell we were doing at other times. So that kind of showed, I guess. They're gonna go with gyro. You can deal with gyro with voice. They're gonna gyro. Yeah. You think ban gyro? Yeah, I think so. Okay. If they Naga, we... I don't think they play Naga that often. Yeah. Okay. I think it's fine. They oh, didn't ban anything. Oh my, oh my god. Out. Are you serious? <laughs> Whatever. Did this just happen? <laughs> it's fine. Right, we gotta deal with oh it. Oh my god. god. Nice! He's going to win the game! I think he's going to win the game. 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 How do we set up the lanes? Oh my god. Are you serious? Play off lane, Jaro. Play off lane, Jaro. Play off lane, Jaro. I can't... Fuck, why don't you know... Fuck. Okay, uh, sorry guys. How about off lanes? Uh, I can play mid drive. Let's see what they pick, okay? Let's see what they pick. Don't pick yeah. your heroes, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. We got oh, this game. Sorry, let's go. I don't, don't think they pick gyros that bad. Alright, we got this. We got this. Don't pick your heroes, guys. Don't pick your heroes. I can I mean, play gyro against the lane top with Aiden. It's actually not that bad. This is gonna be a story to tell, boys. Yes, and if this works for any team, it's awesome. Listen, listen. I can off lane. Yes, Void is like super good in the Okay, then it's fine. We're good. We're good. The lane so we'll have access to his ultimate. Oh, they've got the purge though, and they're still playing very aggressively with Down this bottom. ABBA. They're looking for Setsu, and they're just going to go for the Chrono again. Well played by Boxy, as that one is just going to be a quick and easy kill. Oh, on to Setsu, no! The turnaround! Are you kidding me? He finds them both! Lanham! Oh, Lanham! The now, fear up top, they it, find a turn. It costs, you can see Alliance at the same time in tandem movement. They start going for flyby and Lana and Aqua are just like, sorry. Wasn't able to time it perfectly. Abed trying desperately to hold on to these racks. They're dropping meteors down from the sky, but Dubu not able to get the stomp up. They jump in another round. Ice 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 trying desperately DJ's to coming. hold on. A triple kill, DJ, can he find his moment? They need to hold on. He jumped forward, the black ball, but he didn't get Miracle. Miracle trying to close out this game. Can they take him down in time? No! The Ancient will fall. And with that, Team Liquid are moving on. Fnatic out of TI9. This 